And on top of the news, this hour, one suspected case of cholera has been recorded at the Braka Polyclinic in Accra. But health authorities at the facility have assured of their readiness to contain the situation in the likely event of an outbreak. On Thursday, the health ministry issued a cholera alert, confirming one case in Accra ahead of the rains. The Ghana Health Service has also warned of a possible cholera outbreak in Accra due to the poor waste management in the city. In 2014, Ghana recorded over 2,000 cases of cholera, assuming the highest levels in history. Over 200 lives were lost, with Greater Accra being the hotbed of the outbreak. Most health facilities were logistically constrained, as only few had cholera holding base. But head of prescribers at the Adabraka Polyclinic, Dr. Abdul Raza Kwao, says this year the facility is ready to deal with any outbreak of the disease. He stressed the need for the public to adhere to good sanitary practices, since Accra is still inundated with factors that spread the disease. Meanwhile, some food vendors here in Accra say they are putting measures in place to prevent the spread of cholera. The vendors say regular supervision by district environmental health officers have helped in keeping the environment clean. By consuming contaminated food and water, one can easily be infected by the cholera disease. The hygienic conditions under which food is prepared and sold is therefore a major concern. At some food joint in Accra, best practice was observed. I wrap my hands with rubber before I fetch kinky for my clients. At Kanda, this food vendor tells me the Accra Metropolitan District Environmental Health Officers had inspected her joint three times already. So far, I've not received any query from them. This woman tells me last year, a lot of cholera cases were recorded in her area, prompting her to be on the alert. For me, the most important thing is to use clean water. Keep my hands and environment clean all the time. On Thursday, one case of cholera was recorded at the Achimota Hospital. 